delicious when you take them out, and it gives a flavor for the, to the turkey or the chicken. You got it on a high heat, and then when you drop it in there, you lower your fire a little bit, you lower your temperature. You want to seal it right when you drop it in the hot grease, it seals it. And uh, all the juices stay inside. It smells good already. I wish I had one in front of me right now. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it.
got a job to do when I go in my boat and some fish alligators and all that, and I'm going to give it all I got. But also, you know, I'm going to have a good time while I'm out there. And I learned that from my daddy, you know. We did what we had to do. But, you know, we didn't make the day go by. We talk about different things and joke about different things. And before you knew it, the day's work was over with it. We were on our way home. Who told you everything without changing your diaper? The dad. Thank God they didn't have a such thing when I was growing up as child abuse. Because I was abused. I'd work from the time I got back from school till I went to bed at night. And we didn't have no choice. We knew we had to work. Daddy didn't have to tell it. And those days we didn't call it child abuse. We called it help. Everybody had to pitch in. Yeah, everybody did their part. Dad and I have been through a lot of... Uh, a lot of things together, you know. Uh, I love him to death. I just, I hope he's around for a long time. Hope we have lots of more members together, him and I. Let me tell you something. My daddy taught me a lot. But when it comes to the big deal you killed years ago, he just looked. Him. Try that nine times. I think he fell down on the ground with a stroke. He didn't have to hunt that. He didn't yeah. know where to hunt it with that. That's too many bullets ricocheting around. One shot. That was it. One shot. One shot. Yeah. I'm telling you. I was there. I was the man. My grandpa, my great grandpa, all fished and live down the river. It's just a thing that's been passed down from generation after generation, you know. Come down the river today just to run the crab pots and catch a few crabs. This is something everybody does. Most people are going to camp or something down the river or something. They have crab pots and stuff. They run the crab pots, get a few crabs and follow them up and everybody comes around and eats them. Well, you pretty much catch blue crab anywhere in this area, you know, in the rivers or the lake. These traps I've been running today probably been in about two days. See what we got, Tyler. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a few in here. Oh, we got one on one of the... These are blue crabs. Some of the best eating crabs they got. We'll take a few more than that. You come out here and you bait them. You know, you little know, fish heads or fish backs or anything you can get for bait. You bait your traps up and throw them out. You wait two or three days and you come back and run your traps. Hopefully you got crabs. We got some crabs, Tyler. So I get home, I'll call the kids and stuff, see if they want to come eat some crabs. But I just call them and tell them. I know they're going to be there. Well, basically, you just got to have a big pot and crabs and good seasoning. And uh, once you get your pot filled over water, you get it boiling, put some crabs in it. I can do mine about eight minutes. People put it in the boiling water. Some people start it out with cold water, cook it slow. Uh, it's just, everybody does it a little different. Looking good. Well, there's nothing better at the end of the day when you got a bunch of grass and call your family up and come eat them. You just hit them just right and everything comes out. The main thing about this, the bowling and the crabs and stuff, is a bunch of people get together, family gets together. So we try to get the family together, eat, and cut up as much as we can. Pretty good, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> it's just part of life, John. Here's what we do. Well, it was a good day's catch. A lot of good food to eat. Good day on catching crabs. Yay! Yeah, this thing's packed full, isn't it? Huh? 
Baby, yeah, I just be old crap in the video. So good that you That's about it though. The meat. That up good. Look at that. And the eggs that's in it. It's got the eggs in it, yo. Look at that. The meat is so good. Happy birthday to me. Uh, and don't she? Okay. Smooth it out, Rick. You gotta smooth it out. Uh, we just come in a little while ago and put in a pot of 
Get nasty with it. Mm. It's gonna give it down. Mm. so sweet, YouTubers. I wish you guys were here to taste it. That's why I can't talk. Mmm, it is so good. It is so sweet. It's sweet. Mmm. The meat is so Swedish. Natural. Swedish. Ocean. Not ocean taste, but so sweet. Mmm. Oh my God, the bear. You ever want to eat a crab? You got good teeth? Mm. Yeah, so good. Mm. I love them. I bought two of them. One of them is thirty. Cost thirteen dollars or one. Want to teach him and get him involved. Rock crab. And show him how to cook because you know a lot of the men in our family are the cooks. So both my crab call. I think it's a good tradition that he carries. Well, let's go get the crab in the trench. Yeah. Four to four, some I love. And they are worth it. I tell you. They are so good. Mmm. I think I was still in diapers when I learned how to ball crawfish. So YouTube, y'all see me pig out on a king crab. Mmm. I'm still pigging out until I eat this whole crab. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all. Y'all don't. Oh, my God. Nails popping off. I don't care. This crab is good. I took off one already. I don't care about them nails. Honey, this crab is good. Look at this. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. He was alive, too, so. Yes, he was, YouTuber. My lemon. I know, natural. Enjoy a good meal together. And to see smiles on their faces when you know it's good, there's no better satisfaction than that. Seafood, season it up, whatnot. Do my thing. But I tell you, this is the best crab. Is this the back? And all these nibblings. The legs and stuff. 
I've eaten. Mmm. Mmm. And the juice is so good. Mmm. You don't have to put that much of water on them. You put a little water and steam them. And then you season them up in your taste. And you'll have that beautiful taste of that crab. In that liquid. Mm. And you get your... Okay. Tubers, I love you guys so much. Come into my kitchen watching me. Do my videos. I want to give thanks up to all my viewers. I want to give thanks to everybody that watched me. I have a blast, I tell you. I love you guys so much. I've eaten. I, I know I have another piece of right here. I'm going to put it on that plate. These crabs are so thick. Mmm. That's so good. Look at that. All right, now yeah. I'm going to steam it a little bit longer. That'll be it. All right. I'm not too coming. Good job. Mm. Now that we finish cooking everything, we've got to load it all up in the truck and haul it to the auditorium mm. and keep it waiting. They want the food. That's your wine sauce. It's so good. This started mm -hmm. out almost probably about 20 years ago. A friend of mine started under his carport. Real small. Put some lemon. 20 people. Oh, honey, you got a feast. Let me tell you, and you, and look here, just be pretty by faith, but let yourself enjoy your hood, that's what I do, I don't give a damn about being sloppy, mm. yeah, mm. Mm. Too good to be cute. I already cute. Yeah, be sloppy and eat. Mmm. Well, that's some straight up good rock crab meat. I tell you guys, go and get you a rock crab. Let me know how you like it. Leave a comment in the box. Subscribe to my videos. Give me thumbs up. And I love you, my YouTubers. Okay, I've spent over 20 Three some odd minutes of this video. This monk bangs. Because I want to tell you guys, I want to show you guys exactly what I cooked. That I would eat. I have a lot left, but I ate that raw crap. I had two of them, but I ate one. I got one left. I'll come talk about it in the video. Let's see what not. But I love you guys for hanging in with me. Coming into my home, watching me eat rock crab. All right, love you too, where strive my videos, give me thumbs up, and love Carolyn. Why? Because Carolyn love you. That's what's popping, YouTubers! All right, baby. Love you, YouTubers. Strive my videos, give me thumbs up, all right? Good night, and I'll see you with something else that's popping off. All right, now, YouTubers. Bye, darling. <laughs>